Yo, what are you saying? It's your boy Mars Traps, and I'm back again with another video. And as you can tell from the title, today's video is a bit of a sticky one. You know, everybody knows this, but weddings can be expensive, and at the same time, as they're expensive, you want to make sure that your daughter or your son has one of the best days of their life. Well, in this video, that's not the case. Maybe they do, maybe the mum does want the daughter to have the best day of her life, but at the same time, she wants her to have the cheapest day of her life too. So yeah, let's get into the video. Cheapskate mother of the bride, Shelly Watson, is looking for a used gown for her daughter to save on the average $1,200 most brides spend on a wedding dress. Watch what you grab, because we literally have rats that are side the cats back here. Oh my gosh. The wedding dress. It was between the power tools and the gardening saws. Well, that's how you know definitely for sure you're getting a good bargain. You know, if your wedding dress is in between the rice and the broccoli in the supermarket, you're definitely going to get at least half price. Normally, if I were looking for a wedding dress, I would go to like a thrift store or a consignment store and look for something that is very beautiful. But I decided this time that I would try going to a pawn shop to find Ashley's dress. Wait a minute, this time? So she's done this rubbish more than once. And then again, why would you go to a pawn shop? You don't know how many diseases could be up in that dress. You don't even know if they've washed the dress since they've got it. These cheap skits, they really need to calm down, you know? Let me see. Turn around. That's kind of cute. <laughs> no, Mom. At the Renaissance Festival? Yeah. No. Maybe because, you know, I'm not really good with fashion. You see me on this channel, I mainly just wear plain t-shirts, but... In my opinion, I actually think that's, that's actually kind of nice, like, the dress is alright, well, I, I may be stupid, but, you know, you're watching this video too, so welcome to the Mars Traps channel. I'm pretty sure if the dress is like $10 or something, it'll be worth it, but if it's more than 50 yeah, I'm not getting that, even for my own door. I would even be there in the first place if it was for my own door. That is just ridiculous and sad. It's the definition of horrific. No, right. it's a no. All right, well, let's see the next one. Wait a minute, there's more than one up in this shop. I thought there was only one wedding dress up here. They were nice dresses. There were three that Ashley could choose from. Oh, that one's pretty. I can't move. Ugh. That's because it might be a little tight, but you can live can you for breathe? a couple hours. Yeah, seriously. The wedding dresses, they've stopped it, you know, next to the guns too. You know, it's a great deterrent for anyone who's trying to get married and comes in there looking for, looking for a wedding dress. Imagine coming in there looking for a wedding dress and come out with two glocks. <laughs> That's pretty. That's not bad. That is very pretty. I, I like that. Found the one. Okay, I actually think this one actually, you know, kind of looks nice, but we don't know. Everyone else is saying it. Majority rules, hopefully. It's up for her to decide if she likes it or not. I like that. That is gorgeous. That will look very good in the gymnasium. Wait, she said gymnasium, right? She didn't say church. These men are getting married in a gym, a school gym. What's that? Ew. What's that? What's that? Okay, yeah, I know that's not from the last wedding. That's pee. Oh. What? He wasn't kidding about the rats, guys. You know what, though? That's a good thing, because now we can get a bigger discount. Now we can get a bigger discount. If you really want to wear clothes that's been polluted by rat feces, and, you know, their urine. Yeah, that's calm, you know, just take it. Take it, go home, get some diseases and die of the plague. But why? Why would you do it in the first place? And the first thought wouldn't be, now we can get a bigger discount. It's usually, take that off right now. You might catch something. We're leaving the store. Uh, this, this, this lady is really, really on a mission to make sure that either her daughter dies of some disease because of distress, or she doesn't want to give at least five dollars for this wedding. I've always known Shelly to be cheap, but after this, she blew me away. 
I didn't know people like that could really be that cheap. Yeah, me too. And that's what my channel was turned into. So you know what, Denise? Watch this channel. You're going to see a lot more worse people than your friend right here. We can, we can clean it. Well, we don't know for sure that's what it is. But we can, uh, Mom, it smells like pee. We can clean it. I heard you like, well, haha. <laughs> I don't really have the money for that, but I can always just put hot water on it and you won't know the difference. Just just spend some money to dry clean it, it's not that deep. It really isn't that deep. We can we clean can, it. You're going to dry clean it? Well, I'll clean it. Because this is a it. dry clean only dress. Mm -hmm. Well, we can hand clean it. Well, you're not going to hand clean it. Yeah, you I, do you know how expensive it is? Why is she looking so surprised about hand cleaning? You know, really and truly, Hand cleaning some most of the time, it gets your clothes out better than the washing machine. But we can stick this in the bathtub so and clean it. What? Yeah. Stick it where? In, in the, the bathtub. bathtub. This is dry clean only. It, you, you can, can do that. that. You can do, no, I promise you. I promise you we can clean it. With what? With a, just a regular clean, dress cleaner and then clothing cleaner and then and then in the bathtub. You just dip it in and clean it. Okay, I agree with her on the cleaning aspect. I don't agree with her on taking that dress home to clean it because that's some rat infested <gasps> shit. Like, I would, if it was me, and I wouldn't find myself in this situation, but if it was me, I would definitely get, I would definitely professionally clean it because I have, I have no idea what the hell has happened in there. Mom, you can't clean it. In the anyway, it doesn't matter. We'll clean it and, and I can get a better discount. This will be good. Everybody here is getting a bit, a bit concerned, really. Until everybody here is, everyone here is panicking a little bit. Everyone's thinking, oh fuck, we've, we've really done it now. It's a bit of a sticky one now. 150 is what I paid for it. I'm just selling it to you just yeah. to get rid of it. Mm, no, this isn't worth 150. I mean, how much no. would a dress like this cost new? No. Used with rat pee? It's not going to be 150. I mean, it's not worth 150. It's worth 150. One dollar fifty cents, cause that is bullshit. Like you need to think about the way how this guy is keeping it. If my guy really wanted to sell it for the exact same price, you know, ten dollars less, ten dollars more, he might have thought to keep it. You know, maybe he washed it, preserved it, put it in like a nice bag, so everything's calm. Like when you go to charity shops in the UK, you you see you see stuff in better condition than you do in pawn shops in the US. You don't know that it's rapid. It could be something else. It could just be. Or something. It could be my pee. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's like, you don't know what it is. It could just be Fanta. Like, this. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, this guy, he sucks at negotiating, really, truly. And then again, he must be feeling pressured because there's cameras all around him, too. He must be thinking this some nice kind of undercover boss type show. <laughs> nah, smell it. Smell it. No, smell it. Really, smell it. Like, please, please don't, please don't make me smell it. Please, no, no, stay away from me. Stay away from me. But why are you trying to force the guy to smell it if he doesn't want to? He doesn't. He doesn't have to. Is he shop? He could just kick you out and keep the dress. He doesn't lose anything except on the time he wasted on you. Shelly seemed quite insistent that that was a rap pee, but I'm really not sure. I'll do a hundred on it. But that's as long How as about I can fifty? Go. How about twenty-five? But why? <laughs> I I know I know where she's coming from. I personally just pay like ten dollars for something like that. But is he still? Nine, one. Oh, we'll go fifty. Well, a hundred isn't the middle. It's a lot closer than fifty is. <laughs> seventy-five would be in the middle. <laughs> All right, we'll do seventy-five. Seventy-five, deal or no deal. You know what? It's a pretty good deal. I'll take it like that. But. I would never take it like that if you know if you know what that means. I hope you do. You'll do 75? 75. Do you want the dress? I do want the dress. Okay, we'll do 75. Why is she lying with her chest? She says, do you want the dress? Yeah, I want it. No, you don't want this dress. You want a brand new dress that nobody's worn before and no rats have pissed on. I can see I can see the fear and the tears coming out of her eyes. It's like she doesn't want to be in this situation. I don't think anyone wants to be in this situation. 75 it is. Mm -hmm. It's Thank you. I think it'll clean up fine and her girl will look real good in it. Oh my goodness. I'm very excited about our wedding. I cannot wait to get married. 
Okay, what was with that smile there? Like, my guy, it looks like he's already given up all hope about this wedding. He probably thinks they're gonna get married at the back of <laughs> at the back of a Sainsbury somewhere or something. I'm not totally psyched about where and how we're getting married, but I am excited to make that commitment to Ashley. Thank yeah, you. get married? Thank you. I'm ready, man. <laughs> Congratulations, big guy. And you know, I respect it. It should be who you're who you're getting married to, not where you're getting married at. You know what? You could get married at a dumpster truck, but you know, if you love your partner, why should that matter? You know I'm joking, right? But any of you man don't want to get married uh, at the back of a dumpster truck now because of me. Don't at me on Instagram or anything. Yes, I know. Shameless plug. But still, I need some followers. I mean, when I walked into this venue, I was like, is this a wedding? Nah, it's a high school reunion, honey. You messed up. You took, you took the wrong right turn. You might go to the chapel down the road over there. Even the baby looks shocked. He's, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know what's going on with him. Everybody there is confused. They're like, is this a wedding or is this the last assembly? The big surprise that I have for this wedding that I have not told anyone yet is that I am an ordained minister and I am going to officiate this wedding. I fucking know. <laughs> I mean, they weren't going to go get a pastor or a priest or anybody. They're gonna fill out an online course and do it themselves. That card looks like she just printed it off. She did print it off at home. She just laminated the paper and said I'm an ordained priest. I don't even know. I don't know anymore. What has this world come to? What has TLC done to me in this channel? What am I doing with my life? Do his part. For richer or poor, till death do his part. I think he really meant rich or poor because looking at the state of the venue they're getting married in, that is definitely the latter. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Ashley, you looked beautiful tonight, didn't she? I thought she did. She looked beautiful. If only they knew that that dress has wrapped this on it. If only they knew. I thought the food spread and the bring your own alcohol was uh, <laughs> a little unusual. Well, at least now they know why. They were too cheap to bring alcohol, to bring their own sandwiches, their own bangers and mash. And you know what? At the end of the day, it was a happy, a happy wedding, a happy event. And most of the people who came there, they enjoyed themselves. So yeah, in their book, it's classified as a win. So that's it. That's the end of the video. You know, if you like this video, make sure you like and you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. Comment down below what I did right, comment down below what I did wrong. And you know, I'll change it up in the next video. And as always, if it's the first time you're seeing my ugly mug on your screen, make sure you like and hit the notification bell to get notified if ever or whenever I post. I'll see you in the next one. In a bit. She got me gone psycho. She got me going down, down, down Got me living on a tightrope